Alright guys, um, I'm going to show you how to breed mealworms. First what you want to do is go out and buy you a tub from like Walmart or Target or somewhere like that. This right here is a 16 quart. So it doesn't matter how big you get it, but the littler the bin, the less mealworms you'll probably be able to hold. But, after you buy your bin, what you want to do is go buy like some Quaker oats or just any kind of oats, it doesn't matter. And um, just pour it all in there and make spread it around evenly. And then after that, what you want to do is go ahead and get your mealworms, go, go out and buy some mealworms and um, put them in there. Right now I have 200 like 250 in there right now, but I just bought a 500 count, so I'm going to go ahead and put them in there. And if I can open it with one hand, okay. So it's 500 in there. Um, you can pick them out if you want to, but I just pour them straight in. Okay, so it's 500 adult mealworms in there. And Go ahead and spread it around, I guess. Okay. Whatever. You're not going to get it perfect. But anyway, um, as you can see, you can see them all at the top. So it's about, about 700, 750 in there. And then after that, you're going to have to worry about feeding these guys. So, what I use to feed them is carrots. But you really can use anything that you want. I just use carrots. But carrots, they don't rot out easily. And they last longer than other stuff some something else that you can use is cricket food I mean not cricket food but like cricket cricket cruncher but I really don't like it I just like giving them straight fruit and um basically after you put the fruit in or whatever you're gonna feed them or, um I'm not not fruit but vegetables so I'm sorry about that how you put your vegetables or whatever you're gonna feed them and you just go ahead and close it or whatever but you're going to start seeing pupae and believe me you you'll be able to tell pupae from a mealworm usually they will lay the pupae on top but they can sometimes lay them under so sometimes you might not see the pupae you might just see beetles right away but um if you see the pupae, just go ahead and take it out and just put it inside like a little box with no substrate. Usually I just keep the cricket, I mean not cricket, but the um, Quaker Oats container and I just put them straight in there. I don't have any now, but I just put them straight in there. You don't need to put any substrate or anything. Just check on them like every other day. See, do you get any beetles? And then... Once you get a beetle or something, you can put it in a separate container, or you can put it back in the same container as the mealworms, and they will start laying babies. Um, it's a beetle in here. Get it for you guys. There it is, right there, the little black thing in the corner. So I have one beetle so far. I only had the mealworms for a couple days. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Give him a new carrot. You can feed these guys carrots too. And um, they they start laying babies in about two weeks to about a month, maybe even faster, depending. And basically, that's how you're gonna breed your mealworms. And any questions, just comment it down below. And see you guys.